and 11. Quinton Jefferson was shaken up a moment ago for the Jets. Meanwhile, Franklin Myers has returned, number 91. To a seven for seven so far. Of course, a lot of them have been little passes like this. That is covered up quickly by C.J. Mosley, Mostert, with the catch. That offsides, though, that was the hot story of the week. Yeah, well, take a look. You're going to see, we talked about it over and over. Chosen looks outside, and the ref up top says, hey, come back. You got to get off. Back up, back up. Chosen never looks at him. That's where he gets called the offsides. That's what everyone was talking about. The refs do try and help you, but you got to look at them, and it's their job to call a penalty when you're offsides. So here's the best in the league on third and seven or longer. And they've got third and ten on this occasion. In the closing seconds of the first quarter. Shows you how big pre-snap penalties. Starts. Offense, number 31. Five-yard penalty, third down. For the top red zone offense in the league after that one run, you knew they were going to probably get a first down in the position they were in. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like it cost some points. That's why you can't coach it enough, Jim, the yeah. subtle little things. It's maddening for these guys. Yep. That's going to close out quarter number one. With the score, the Dolphins 7, the Jets nothing. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Not a pretty first quarter. There was 71 total yards of offense by the two teams. Eight of the 71 by the Jets. We got a third and 15 for Miami. Threatening here in New York territory. To it. In the middle. You get Waddle go wide, trying to get to the sticks, and he's going to be chopped up by Sauce Gardner, about four yards short. And that'll bring out a field goal attempt, you got to think. Yes, yeah, that. This is really smart, though. And I think they're going to go for this, Jim. And this is why you throw that pass, though, because your head coach tells you, hey, don't be afraid to get yards. If we get down there, we're going to line up. Now they could be trying to draw them off sides because of defensive. Offsides gets him a first down. Fourth and four. Hey, good, ten, ten. Don't jump offsides. Talk to each other on defense right here. Tua did everything he could to try to draw him. But they'll go to Sanders for the field goal attempt. It's a smart play. Really well done. Way to be fundamentally sound on defense there. But I like it by Miami. Offense. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Because you don't take the timeout. This is another genius move. Try and get him offsides. Five yards does not matter for a kicker inside the 20. Here's Sanders. 14 of 18 on the year. This 37 yards. Set an NFL record in the game against Denver this year for most point afters in a game when he made 10 in that. 70 point explosion. Field goal try is good. Ten nothing Miami. And we'll be back in 30 seconds after this from back with Miami. Ten nothing. Two of nine for nine to open this game. But those two scoring drives covered only 23 yards. First drive set up on that strip sack that. Led to the most touchdown run from two yards out. As the Sanders boot, no chance at a return. Chance to tell you about Tuesday. Very nice occasion when members of. Uh, unfortunately a casualty in that first game against the Jets out for the year got uh, injured in that first game big loss for them but he's still doing his good stuff in the community so not to all of them here's a first and ten toss and Hall picks up a yard we have an update on that Houston Tennessee game back to JB and Boomer Texans in the Houston one of those teams fellas at seven and six coming into the week 
in the playoff mix in the hunt. Here's Wilson. No chance. No chance is Bradley Chubb trying to atone for some mistakes he made on Monday night against Tennessee when he was penalized a crucial penalty for a helmet toss while on the field. I bet he couldn't wait to get back out here today at loss of 10. Watch this. This is an outstanding play by him. He's going to go up and under. And he gets Becton. That's a second play. But this offensive line has really made life miserable for Wilson. And you, you don't expect the left side to be like that, Jim. It's usually the right. What a play by Chubb. He played for Coach Banjo three years in Denver. Reunited here in Miami and play his whistle dead. Delay a game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. Well, this one is on Zach, actually, because he is calling for the ball, but that's when he looks up and sees there's one or two on the clock. This is when they're very careful. You don't want to turn over here. It's 10-0. Don't lose the game right here. Third and 24. And they're just going to run it with Hall out to about the 14. They were cautious. Had to be. Yeah, and you got a defense, right? I know this is a dynamic offense, but you saw what happens on the last drive when the Dolphins got an offensive penalty. It makes life hard against this Jets, de Jets defense, so keep relying on that defense until you settle in. Thomas Morstead stands at the goal line. Kick it away to Braxton Berrios, who played on this field for the University of Miami. You've seen some Morstead bombs from back here before. Yes, indeed. There's Berrios. Last four years with the Jets. Now a Dolphin. And he takes the football to the other side of the 50. 347 Don Shula Drive commemorating his 347 wins. Most ever. First and 10, starting another drive in Jets territory as Mostert gets pushed back after a pickup of a couple. Time for next gen stats powered by AWS. An effort to get it out quick, and they used screen passes to start the game, both to Waddle to get the ball. And now they're top offensive players' hands now that Tyreek is out. Meantime, the Jets have a player of the secondary. Jordan Whitehead had to be helped to the sideline, so. It's big, too, because he's played some outstanding football this year, and in this defense, the safeties do a lot. In for him, Ashton Davis. Had a couple of picks on the year. Second and eight. Another completion to Smythe. And they have a third and three coming up. Tracy. Jim, I will get you an update on Jordan Whitehead as soon as I get one. But right now, just keep in mind, Quentin Jefferson not out there, the defensive lineman for the Jets. He was in a lot of pain and extremely upset when he came off the field on the last drive. He was in the blue tent for a while. He's dealing with a hip injury. His return is questionable. And we've had players. Falling all over the field here and coming into this game. It's like Mike McDaniel said. I've never gone into a game with this many question marks, he said. No. Look at the Jets feel the same. You'd never see a defense this low, Jim. No one's back past that line if Tyreek Hill is out there. Third and three, stepping away from pressure only for so long as Tua gets decked by Quinnen Williams. They made him hitch. I said the key to the game is to make him hitch and go to his second and third option. And take a look. Williams goes right through the middle, and he's going to get there when you have to take that second and third hitch. <laughs> Talked about some of the... Some of the Dolphins celebrations. Yes, now they got him on the other side. And they got the waddle going. Fourth and 11 at the punt. With Bailey. Third catch Gibson at the nine. I tell you, they've had short fields, and the Jets have held them to 10 points. 
The Jets with two yards of offense so far. And backed up at the nine. Hall squeezes out three yards to the 12. Which has been all this talk about perhaps Aaron Rodgers this week being put on the 53 man roster, which they could do. It doesn't mean that necessarily he would play. You know Aaron really well. You play a lot of golf with him. What do you think? <laughs> He's not going to be on the roster. I mean, no, I think that obviously he's gone out there and he's talked about it throughout the year and he's shown signs of coming back, but you'd have to really be in the playoff hunt for me to use a roster spot. Wilson, the ball came out. They call it incomplete. And that old line isn't exactly protecting the quarterback what at a very it? high level. <laughs> what I'm seeing with the offensive line, why would you even think about it? I mean, roster spots are huge, much more important than people realize. And obviously Aaron's the most important if he was healthy, but not just going to take a spot up just to say he's back. Good job by Zach to move up and get the ball out, but these obvious passing situations, that's what makes it so difficult because Aaron has the ability to see leverage, see a guy a little out of position, change the play, get it to where the leverage isn't. But right now, for a young quarterback, your job here is to protect the football and try and find someone. Third and eight, and they sack him again. This time it's Sealer. Everything was swallowed up. Vic Fangio, one of the great defensive coordinators at disguising things and making something look open. And Zach thinks he's going to get the corner route up top, and that all of a sudden gives time for this D-line and Sealer to wreak havoc and second in the NFL now in quarterback hits. And that's without blitzing, Jim. Hmm. Sealer with a fumble recovery at the one earlier, set touchdown. Got a sack now as Morstead tries his best to change field position, and it goes out of bounds. Right at about the 40 in Jets territory. Until now, after a 54-yard punt by Morstead, Dolphins begin at their own 40. Going deep, going deep, right there! What a perfect pass and play, and the touchdown to Jalen Waddle. 60 yards and a touchdown. What an outstanding job. This is just running through the defense, and he got DJ Reed with an unbelievable route. I want you to watch right up here. But take a look at this route. Inside, nope, and he gets him, and that allows Tua to say they doesn't have a big arm. That was a big arm throw right there. Wow, what a throw, and Waddle is showing off today. Yes, he is, and even owner Stephen Ross was doing the Waddle after the touchdown, the 18th of the year for the Dolphins from outside 20 yards. That's the most by a Miami team since 1986. He creates so many big plays every game. They've had over seven in every game, except for one. They had six, so look at that. I mean, again, you've got 18 touchdowns that have come from outside the 20, and the Jets offense has 13 total. Yeah, but usually some teams aren't over 500 because you beat them. The teams who could be at 500 would be if you wouldn't have beaten them. And then the other part is no team's supposed to be a winning record versus the best teams, you know? Some of those games came down to a player too. So to me, they they are a team who could definitely beat the best teams. Their defense is much better with Ramsey, by the way, now than they were earlier in the year. Of course, there's three teams that are currently over 500. You got Kansas City, you got Philadelphia, and you got the Buffalo game week four yep. up in Orchard Park with Buffalo's return match up here coming up week 18. Yeah, all great teams. Two on two drill. I think this will be the most sacks he's had since 2018 this year. We have two on two drill. <laughs> the other two being Mr. Wilson here. They'll come after him again. And that's an incompletion. 
It was this time Cameron good in his face in a hurry. This is the miscommunication. I mean, I want you to watch the right side. These there's two guys to block two. And we're gonna ask this guy to come back and block. We just let the DN go right away. And you could have stepped up technically if Bowden would have got over there, but this is too many play action passes where they're right on top of them. They're playing for the pass now. Remember the second half when they came out last week? They threw the ball over and over again. I think Vic Fangio knows they're trying to do that. Garrett Wilson has not even been targeted so far. There's a pass to the top side, and it's caught by Lazard with Apple on coverage. Pick up a five. That puts him into positive yardage for the day at plus four. <laughs> that was a big throw, though, to get you in phase. Gives you an opportunity to get this back. When he throws in rhythm or, in rhythm or has time, Jim, He's looked really efficient the last two weeks. Today, not so much. But a couple throws in rhythm have looked like the same. Just no time. No time. No time at all. Going to face that dilemma again in all likelihood on third and five. Out at the hall. Flags are out. He shoved out short of the first by Duke Riley. This could be on the defense. And give him a first down, though. And give him life right here. You saw Apple 33. Illegal contact. Defense number 33. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. Brad Rogers, the referee here, says first down for the Jets. That's just their third of the game. You'll see Lazard watch as he splits release this. He's going to ride him down. It's okay. And then right there, you got to let him go. Let him go. And Mike goes. That's him not pleased, by the way. Hmm. That's what Mike said. Sir. Hasn't looked like that very often today. Yeah. Hook the running back. The Jets needed that help though, right there. There you go. There you go. Wilson down the field and knocked down. Knocked down at the last moment by Elijah Campbell. This was an outstanding throw under pressure again. But an outstanding job, even better, by Campbell to come flying in. That ball was perfect. And I thought they might be missing that with Holland and Elliott out. But what a play by Campbell. Yeah, Campbell getting that time with Holland and Watch Elliott out. Se yeah, and there's Sealer, another one. You have to throw the ball at the last second. Garrett Wilson, again, has got to be feeling lonely. These are the times I would run the ball. And they think you're going to pass. Second and ten. And another sack. The fourth of this first half by the Dolphins. Akba this time. Here's Wilson again, who has not been targeted, Tony. Yeah, Ramsey's out there. They doubled him a little bit, but Wilson really had a guy open. Conklin over the middle if he'd have kept his eyes downfield. He's looking left, and then he decides to move up in the pocket. Got a third and 12 inside, six minutes to go in the first half. Incomplete. Running for his life again. Another marker on the field. Well, this is another communication error by the offensive line. Illegal contact, defense number four. Yard penalty, automatic first down. Wow. Called on Cater Kohu, and twice the Jets have been saved on third down by penalties. You see the illegal contact right there. You got to let them go, riding them too long. But the pressure comes right here. We have plenty of blockers for them. And you see Tomlinson late to get there. His long runs right through, and that's a gift. Now they now they just announced they they picked up the flag because they said that Wilson was outside the pocket. They picked up the flag, and it's going to be fourth down. Now that was not outside the pocket. 
He was in the box when it happened. That they shouldn't have picked that up. We well, don't see that change so quickly very often. Step playing for the third time. That's up Barrios to the seven, and he tumbles near the 20. Hardy, the NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount Plus all season long, right through Super Bowl 58, including next week's outstanding matchups. Try it for free today. Give it to Mostert. And he's tackled down by Williams, who appeared to be shaken up after hitting the ground. They can't afford him to go out. He gets helped to his feet by his teammate Clemens. He's going to stay on that sideline. So he starts the game 11 for 11. For 127 yards and the touchdown to Waddle. He's got another one. Time to Cedric Wilson. Yeah, 12 for 12 now. And we were wondering how they would do without Tyreek. And I thought they would still be pretty good. And they put so much pressure on you with these motions and all these cool plays. And it really calms the defense down. And that's why defenses struggle against this offense because when you motion very quickly and snap it, you can change the communication. You can make responsibilities change on the fly for the defense. And so you can eliminate a lot of the pressures teams run as Miami would just dice you up quickly. Williams comes back after missing one play. Third and four. Snap just in time. And that one picks up a first. And then it's Waddle. And maybe this a little too much aggression brings the flag out. As Waddle has his fifth reception for 99 yards in the touchdown. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense. Number 22, 15-yard penalty, first down. Waddle went over 100 in the first matchup against the Jets. Watch on the top. Here comes Adams, comes flying in and just gives that nudge. He's like, sorry, sorry, but once the play is blown dead right here, they're going to catch you on that one every time. Come on, bro. Come on. That's all right. It's fine now. We've got a penalty on you. Yeah. He's going to put the football at the 48. Most of time. Oh, look at him. Stop, turn, go upfield, pick up four out of nothing. We got the Verizon halftime report coming up with JB and the crew. There's Phil looking good. Good to see him back in the studio after missing some time. Coach Coward, Nate Boomer. Coach Boomer, the former Jet. We'll look forward to hearing his take here at halftime and all the scores from around the league including the fact New England's up on Kansas City in the last minute of the first half up at Gillette Stadium second and six there's the first incompletion went back to Waddle again it's amazing how open Waddle is when you know you don't have Hill He's still being able to catch five for 99. Well, and that's why when you run the football, you have the ability to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, Jim. It's a great question because you'd say, why wouldn't you take him out like they're taking out Garrett Wilson on the other side? And that's why they got him to screens early and they move him around. And you got to remember, Tyreek motion the most he had all season against the Jets last time, and they're doing that with Waddle today. And it makes a lot of different guys have to guard you, and you can be in different positions. And another third down for the Dolphins. Pre-snap penalty coming here. Nope, timeout first against New York. A 
by New York. And I New think York that was Jets. smart because first. 30 we had a couple of good matchups there. By the way, mark your calendars for the new year because.